Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Okay, Leo, this video is for you. So that's Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising. If you feel like what I'm saying in this video, please remember it's a general video. It may not resonate with everybody. You can go on and check out your moon and or rising sign. And I do have that link down in the description box below, okay? Um, all right, this is your 2019 tarot forecast. So we're talking for the next year. The energy that you guys have coming up for you during the year is the choice card. And this comes through with a couple of messages for you, Leo. Um, this card resonates with this energy of everything having a domino effect. So for you guys during this year, literally everything that you do, you're really going to need to carefully consider and weigh out your options because everything that you do is going to affect something else, which is going to affect something else, which is going to then affect something else. Um, it's not to say that, you know, be scared and don't make moves, just because you guys are fire and you resonate with the energy of anything that you touch, having the ability to really make it catapult forward and either become successful or burn, just be very mindful of the choices that you are making throughout this year, okay? Um, the choice card also comes with this energy of really being reflective and looking at the things that have transpired in your past and the choices that you have made and how it got you to the point to where you are now. So for a lot of you Leos, especially because you guys resonate with the energy of how you are perceived in the world and how you present yourselves to the world and the things that you do, fire um, is associated with the self. So I believe that this card means that for a lot of you guys, there may be some things popping up from your past or from your childhood that you may have to revisit um, either to learn lessons or to release um everything that has happened affect everything that is going to happen and that will happen okay so just keep in mind that as these things come up throughout this year it's not to get you down it's not to get you sad or it's not to make you like wonder if you've moved on from things or not these things are probably just coming up as lessons um as reminders or things of the sort but with that being said as you move through these things as you revisit these things just keep in mind that you are doing them to learn and not to repeat mistakes okay be very mindful of your choices for this year uh the card that you have coming up in the crossing position this could be uh, a challenge for you this year you have the star card which is slightly alarming um this tells me that there may be a little bit of a hard time tapping into positive energy for you um, with the choice card and this crossing the choice card, I really think that for a lot of you Leos, some of you guys may be beating yourselves up this year over past choices and past decisions that you have made, which puts you into this space of not really resonating with a very positive energy. Um, as I say in all of my readings, we can always turn these crossing elements into upright positions to become supporting foundations for the energies that we're supposed to be tapping into. Um, the star card is a card of hope. It's a card of very positive energy. It's a card of accomplishing and achieving your dreams. So I really pick up on the energy of, for some of you Leos, this three year, especially with the energy of three of, you know, community collaboration and communication and creativity. You may be thinking like, dang, I wanted to do all of this and I wanted to do all of that and I didn't have the chance to or I couldn't do it. And it may put you in this headspace of feeling kind of down and feeling like there's not hope and like you can't still do all those things that you had the desire to do why can't you you know that's really the energy that you need to be tapping into what can you do to make those things possible again so throughout this year just be mindful when you get into those negative head spaces of getting down on yourself and feeling like there is no hope understand that there is you just have to shift your perspective believe that there is hope and there will be hope abracadabra abraxas okay i create what i speak you can will things into existence i have that shit tatted on me for a reason okay you can manifest your own destiny and if you want your destiny to be shitty you can keep it like that but you can actually decide for yourself that you want to have this positive energy behind the choices that you make and you also want to have the positive energy behind the choices that you have already made even if you feel like they weren't the best you can come into a point to where you're okay with them you can live with yourself okay leo the next card that you have coming up in your spread is in the position of the home base um so you've got the devil card so this tells me, Leo, that there may be some, I'm reading this for family and I'm reading this for your actual physical dwelling space. 
So first we'll talk about family. You've got the devil card coming up here. So this tells me that for a lot of you Leos, there's going to be some stuff coming up, especially because you have the choice card in regards to how you interact with your family. Um, and they may not be the easiest energies to work through. These may not be the easiest conversations to have. You may be in a position to where people are looking at you like you're kind of shitty or where you're in a position to where you're looking at the people in your family like they're kind of shitty. This devil card, people get alarmed by it because it, it is such a negative energy. But this card coming up in this position tells me that this three year, especially with that energy of communication and coming together in community, there are some things that need to be worked through in your families, Leo, that you're going to have to have conversations about that may not always go how you want them to go. That may sometimes paint you as the bad guy, but that's not necessarily what they're meant to do. This is meant to show you where your faults are, where your wrongs are, and also meant to show you where the other people in your family have slipped and, and, and you know, slacked, okay? Uh, with this card coming up, you don't have to stay in this devil energy. I think this is just saying, Leo, it is time to heal. It is time to burn up all of the dense energy, all of that karmic ancestral dense shit that we've been carrying down, especially the women through our wombs and, and things of that sort. It is time to heal. It is time to burn that up. It's time to talk about it. It's time to put everything out on the table and it's time to release. <clears throat> and it does not matter who gets mad it does not matter who's upset or it doesn't matter who agrees again it is time to burn up that dense energy and the only way to do so is to get it out there and this being in that position of the family like i said these may not be easy energies to deal with you may have people that end up mad at you for a spell you may have people that stop talking to you for a while but let them go through their cycles let them go through their phases let them figure it out on their own everything that is meant to happen will it will play out the way that it is supposed to everybody heals in different ways and everybody processes differently remember that especially leo when you start dealing with this stuff everybody processes differently i say this all the time in a lot of my videos um your truth is not the next person's and the next person's truth is not necessarily yours so just keep that in mind especially in these familial conversations that you are like no i don't agree that's not what it is there's no way you could think that just understand that again remember things are coming out for you to heal them fire is also a cleansing element it can burn out old dense energy so just keep that in mind now in regards to your physical living situation this devil card popping up here tells me that for some of you you may find yourself in a situation this year to where you're dealing with like a slumlord or something or to where you're in a position to where you have to move or something of the sort or or you might be living in a place that you just don't like um be very careful with your decisions be very mindful again going back to that choice card be very mindful of how you make your moves weigh your options out is this place that bad can i finish out my lease or no um is this person that shitty do i need to take them to court or no you know do i need to stay here where this energy is this dense or do i need to move on just weigh your options out this just tells me that there may be a little bit of um hectic energy uh, surrounding where you're living and that you just need to be very mindful of the choices that you're making throughout this year okay the next card that you have coming up in your spread, Leo, is the Daughter of Cups. This is the Page of Cups, and this is in the position of your career and your finances. So the message that I get with this, Leo, is that you guys are going to be coming into a position as far as your work goes to, to where you like, you know, you really actually enjoy your work. You enjoy what you're doing. Um, you may feel you may some of you may come into positions or careers where you're doing something that you're extremely passionate about. Um, I I don't know why I want to talk about animals. If you like animals, Leos, some of you guys are going to be coming into positions to where you can like intern with animals or like where you can learn more about animals, where you can actually be more around the animals. This is a very positive energy. This just points to, you know, happy, positive uh, energy of fulfillment in the workspace and in your career, okay? Um, in regards to your finances, I get a couple messages here again just a little bit of a blessing on your bank account this is a positive energy coming in pages carry the those suits this is a happy energy water is an energy of being fulfilled so your bank account you might start to see some improvement there okay leo um also what i get here is because the page of cups is the daughter of cups is very creative i and you guys leos you can be very innovative and you are go-getters i i pick up on some of you having some side hustles this year making money in you know ways that are very creative or making money doing things on the side that you really enjoy doing so like people like might maybe having a day job but doing hair on the side or doing nails on the side or things of that sort okay 
Coming up in the next position is the Sun of Wands, and that is the Knight of Wands, and that's in the position of love and relationships. So a couple of things here. Some of you Leos may be involved with somebody of your fellow sign, somebody who carries this very fresh, very jovial, very passionate, go-getter type of energy. They could be a Leo like yourself, a Sag, or an Aries. Very prominent for you this year, possibly singles. Somebody could be coming in for you carrying these characteristics. Um, on the other hand, if you're in a relationship or even if you're not, I pick up on this fire energy just being kind of like a jolt to your sacral and your heart chakra. So for you Leos, especially if you've been kind of chilling, um, I feel like you're going to go out there and get your socks rocked this year. Like you're going to go out there and you're going to have fun. Um, you may date one person and it may be very, very whirlwind, very, very intense, very passionate. Or you may go out there and you might meet a few people and you might just be out there with this passionate energy spreading the love. You know what I mean? Um, good things looking up for you in your love life. I don't really pick up on any bad energy. I, I get a very fun energy for you this year. So singles, I feel like you'll be dating and I think you'll enjoy the people that you're dating. People in relationships, I feel like your relationships will get kind of like this fresh jolt of energy. You'll kind of maybe go through another or like a new honeymoon phase, if that makes sense. Um, okay. Last card in your spread is to be fair. And this is in the position of your soul message of your spirit message. Um, this is an 11 card and it resonates with Libra energy and what I pick up from this on a higher level Leo especially because you're resonating with this energy of choice during the year I think this is going to be a very reflective year for you and I think it's more so going to be mostly in terms of your family um, choices made by your family by you in your family by the way that you raise your kids or by the way that you were raised um, this tells me, Leo, you really got to weigh out everything that went down and weigh out everything that you did and everything that was done to you. What do you need to hold on to to help you grow, to help you progress? And what do you need to release so that you're not hurting anymore, so that you're not angry anymore, or so that you can understand other perspectives around you and, and help heal your bloodline, so to speak? Um, <clears throat> this also comes in with an energy that I think is a message to you, Leo, as you progress through this year, don't be too hard on yourself. Just because you made mistakes in the past doesn't mean that you need to beat yourself up, especially if they were like years ago. Like, what is that going to do for anybody? It might satisfy some people who wanted to see you fail or want or really wanted you to continuously acknowledge your mistakes. You know what I'm saying? But what is that going to do for you? Nothing. So be very mindful with yourself and also be, you know, be logical. You don't have to beat yourself up over things that you did in the past if you've already beaten yourself like you know what I'm saying like you can revisit it and say okay I learned this do I need to learn anything else no okay and then you can move on you can release you can heal from it you don't need to carry certain things around and you don't need to be upset with yourself for choices that you've made you just need to understand them and understand how to progress and how to heal and how to grow okay so be fair with yourself and be fair with others perspective it's all about perspective all right Leo that's your reading. If you feel like you need a personal reading, go on and book one with me. I do have that information linked down in the description box below. Other than that, happy 2019, and I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.